Rad Lakshmi Joshi, political analyst, also joins us now live. Rad Lakshmi Joshi, the One Nation, One Election report being formally submitted to President of India, Draupadi Murmu. Uh, what happens next, Rad Lakshmi Joshi? Uh, good morning, Uday. And uh, yes, I think that this is a much needed move because, uh, you know, this, uh, this thing about uh, holding elections, like, uh, you know, if you look at uh, our country throughout the year, uh, you know, there are elections in some part of the uh, country or the other, and it is a complete waste of uh, national resources. And also, uh, you know, even it causes a lot of fatigue in the uh, in the voters also. So, you know, instead of that, I think, you know, this is a very welcome move. And uh, uh, I hope that, uh, you know, the, there will be some positive steps taken. And, uh, you know, most of the political parties have actually uh, spoken in favor of the simultaneous elections and there were only a few uh, parties which said that they were concerned that uh, you know the uh, major national parties will benefit from this so i think that uh, most of the regional parties and most of the political parties being in favor of this i think that this is a positive step and hopefully we will have simultaneous elections and it will be uh, there will have to be a legal framework form for uh, holding these elections uh, for different tiers of the uh, uh, you know, administration of the government and uh, on the state level and the national level. So I think that it will definitely uh, take some time, but uh, I uh, this is a very positive step forward to there. Rad Lakshmi Joshi uh, is also with us uh, on the broadcast. Uh, uh, and of course, we also have Himanshu Bhatt, senior journalist, joining us as well. Himanshu Bhatt, let me uh, quickly bring you in here as well, Himanshu. Uh, this has been something that the Prime Minister has talked about for a while now. Uh, a committee was, of course, constituted under the leadership of former President Ramnath Kovind. That committee went into deliberations. They had multiple meetings. And now that report is ready, Ram, uh, Himanshu Bhatt. It's a report. And what it uh, plans to do, probably, you know, once we go through the whole report and the findings come out, we'll know exactly. But the issue here is, you know, a common man in any state of the country faces, you know, three elections in five years. One his local body, one state and one centre. And in those three elections, means every alternate year there is an election. And in that election year, nearly half the year is spent for elections. Achar Sahita and this and the model, model code of conduct and elections are coming, so nothing moves. So the administrative work was also delayed. Along with it, if you see the amount of expenses, which is to be tripled generally, one for the Lok Sabha, one for the Rajya Sabha, and one, uh, sorry, one for the state assembly and one for the local bodies. Now that all could be clubbed, so that will save a lot of money of the exchequer for the people. Then another thing is, you know, the human resources that get used and fatigue in such, you know, repeated elections. That can create a lot of trouble in a democracy like ours. And so, you know, having one election, you know, for all the three, is going to work for 2029 if they are planning then there has to be something you know wherein you know all the state assemblies and all the center by the center's uh, uh, election date the things should come together so those who are expiring before that date could be elongated so there has to be some provisions and the constitution uh, needs to be changed for that and that needs to be done and I feel, you know, this report will exactly suggest this and which will say, you know, that those those assemblies which are dissolving before the Lok Sabha election date of 2029 must be prologue. And then those assemblies that are after that must be cut short. Some has Something has to arrive, you know, there, might, there will be some opposition. For opposition will have an opposition always. But then what is going to do with this, you know, one nation, one election? which we had in the past, 50s and 60s, you know, early 60s. It will bring a sort of semblance for the voter also. He will exactly know. Our voter is, you know, matured enough now. He will know what he wants to vote in state, to whom he wants to vote in centre, and whom he wants to vote in for the local government. Yes. So I okay, Imanshu, you know, okay. we... stay with us. Let me also bring in Ashish Sinha, a legal editor of NewsX, who's joining us live. Ashish Sinha. Uh, this report, of course, formally submitted now. What are sources telling you? What are the contents of the report? What are some of the takeaways uh, that you can share with us today?
news uh, yesterday that uh, uh, news uh, uh, broke this new, uh, news yesterday that the uh, uh, committee which is headed by the uh, ex uh, president ramnath govind is going to submit its report today itself now the committee uh, committee has submitted its report and we have the exclusive copy of the report uh, if you will go through the recommendation of the committee committee in his recommendation clearly says that the first two decades uh, after independence in, uh, he had uh, that the, he had uh, had a, a beneficial effect on the uh, economic that means the uh, policy and society entirely two elections for be held uh, for the 10 years now the several election are being held every year the cast of a huge burden on the government uh, government businessman worker court politics uh, political party candidates contesting election as well as the civil society at large the committee therefore the recommendation the government must develop a legal tender mechanism in order to restore the circle of simultaneously election the the second important thing is that the committee recommended that it the first step uh, for the uh, simultaneously election to the house of people and the state legislative assembly to be held in the second step the election of the <coughs> municipality and the panchayat will be synchronized with the house of the people and the state legislative assembly in such a way that the election in the municipal and the panchayat are held within the 100 days of the holding of election of the house of, of people that means uh, for lok sabha and the state legislative <coughs> assembly that means uh, uh, vidhan sabha the third important thing is that the uh, uh, committee in his recommendation also said that just suppose that uh, if uh, any party they didn't come in the majority the election held in the uh, any state in that scenario if uh, no one has achieved that uh, confidence motion then election should be conducted in that particular uh, uh, particular state and that tenure should be end to that uh, lok sabha uh, uh, just suppose if the lok sabha tenure is expiring on the uh, 2034 that means that particular election of the uh, state should be uh, uh, that means the tenure of the state should be uh, and uh, on uh, 2034 so these are the recommendations which has been given by uh, the ramnath govin panel uh, to the government now the government have to act on that how the government is going to act on it it remain to be seen the first of all the, we have to also see whether the next tenure in the modi government next tenure that government is going to bring this uh, recommendation in the form of a draft uh, before the uh, parliament or not it remain to be seen but yes the panel which is headed by the ex uh, president ramnath govin he agrees that the yes simultaneously poll that means lok sabha and vidhan sabha polls can be held together absolutely what happens next now the report has now been submitted to the president of india what is the procedure ahead now ashish no the uh, report had been submitted to the president of india now president of india have to take a call whether the uh, after that report uh, he will ask the central ministry to act on that or whether uh, he will wait for the next term of government uh, that means after the lok sabha polls so it remains to be seen but right now it's a huge thing that the covid panel also wanted that the simultaneously poll should be held that means lok sabha and vidhan sabha should be held together is this something that parliament can also look at uh, they can also uh, uh, perhaps uh, uh, be a discussion in parliament on this as well ashish i think uh, it should be because uh, there are two ways to implement this the first one through ordinance that means the uh, president can uh, issue an ordinance regarding that because and second thing is that because there are some uh, uh, amendment in the uh, articles so i think it uh, it should be placed on the parliament and after discussion on the both uh, uh, houses means lok sabha and rajya sabha then i think it will be passed from uh, both the houses let me also uh, bring back in uh, himanshu bhat uh, senior journalist uh, on to the broadcast himanshu this is uh, <clears throat> surely now going to evoke a lot of political reactions as well as far as the political spectrum is concerned uh, how many parties do you believe are in favor of this quite of uh, i think the national party should be in favor of it unless they decide to oppose the modi government but then you know the better way as ashi said you know is wait till the elections are over then present it put it in parliament in form of recommendation pass it and you know change the articles which are required to go through with this report and take a vote of the parliament take the confidence and go ahead but then regional parties are going to going to be the losers in this 
So I will expect, you know, quite a few regional parties are not going to sit quiet and they are going to agitate against this. This is my feeling. Because of people like, you know, someone who has a relevance only in Bihar, let's say RJD. They will not want two elections together because they think, you know, national parties will benefit because of that. Similarly, you know, if we see the parties somewhere in the south of India, let's say in Tamil Nadu, DMK, which has a relevance only in that state, will not want central and state elections together. So that is going to be a problem. But then, you know, when you have to change the article or the articles of the constitution to go through with this, let the new parliament come. I think the best way will be let the new parliament come, put it in front of the parliament, discuss it, trash it out, let the, let the country know who thinks what in that, who is against the country and who is for the nation. That needs to be clarified. And that's why, you know, I think, you know, this is going to be a, it will be a game changer if it comes in 2029. Because it will clean up Indian politics to quite a large extent, you know, and take the burden of the exchequer to a very, very great extent. That's what is my view. Okay, let me uh, take that to Radhalakshmi Doshi as well. Radhalakshmi Doshi, do you believe uh, that this is now uh, uh, becoming the need of the hour? You know, the Prime Minister has often spoken about, uh, uh, you know, the reasons why he's been making this push for, for one nation, one poll. Do you believe the advantages outnumber the disadvantages? Uh, and, uh, you know, across the political spectrum, do you believe uh, that there will be reactions pouring in to this submission of the report now officially? Uh, yes, definitely, Uday. You know, this is definitely going to be a game changer. But, uh, you know, just let me remind you that this is not something new or this is not the, uh, the first time that our country will be having uh, this concept of one nation, one election. In fact, this was the norm before 1967. Mm -hmm. Just for the benefit of your viewers who are not aware of it or who, you know, like for people like me who are not born before that time, uh, just let me uh, tell them that this was the norm before 1967 and we had simultaneous elections, uh, you know, right up to uh, 1967, uh, like that is before, uh, 1951, 52, and 1957, 1962, and 1967. But then some state assemblies were dissolved and the Lok Sabha was also dissolved and uh, be because of that, we had to go in for, you know, the, uh, different uh, states having elections at different times. And now this is also going to affect, uh, you know, in terms of uh, economics, if you look at the national economics, it you know, it affects some 10,000 crore uh, of our national resources are spent in all these elections. So all of that, you know, uh, this thing about having simultaneous elections, we will have to, of, of course, work out a framework like i i was telling you so in you know immediately in 2024 elections that is not going to be happening but then by 2029 you know there will be this kind of a framework by which all the assemblies and uh, all of that will have to be synchronized and we will have simultaneous elections so now uh, you know, responses were uh, invited from 47 political parties, out of which, uh, uh, as per the report of the uh, uh, this uh, the One Nation One Election uh, report, uh, uh, headed by uh, you know former President Kovind, uh, there were only 15 political parties which have spoken against uh, this particular concept. And the remaining 32 political parties have favored the system of simultaneous elections and also advocated its adoption for saving uh, scarce resources, uh, protecting social harmony and stimulating economic development. That was the kind of a response from the rest of the political parties. Like Mr. Himanshu Bhatt was saying, and even I was telling you earlier, that you know there are some regional parties and there are some parties, of course, who have all these kind of uh, uh, fears and insecurities that this is going to give a boost or some advantage to the national parties but at the end of the day if you look at it you know it it uh, the the voters today are very smart and they know whom exactly to vote for uh, they they have different ideas for whom they want at the state level and whom they want at the national level so i think that you know this is a very unfounded fear that uh, some of these parties are having but uh, now since this has gone for, forward i think that this is definitely going to be implemented and this is something that is definitely going to help 
like uh, mr but was saying earlier you know this thing about this aachar sanhita where uh, this code of conduct where, which uh, stops all the work which all stops all the uh, uh, development work and then you have to uh, you know everybody is just in campaigning mode i think that that kind of puts the entire nation uh, uh, you know in a different mode altogether so if you have this thing happening all the time all the year and some elections or the other panchayat elections state elections national elections and some state or the other and you know all of that instead of that if we have one simultaneous elections like we had before 1967 i think that that is a great step forward and in fact in 1983 the election commission had proposed this but uh, for whatever reasons it didn't really go through and i'm glad that it has happened now because this is definitely going to save a lot of our national resources and we can actually take steps to making sure that the development happens and it is not just about elections so ultimately you know the elections are happening only because we want our representatives to be taking forward the development works for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon